You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Claros Mortgage Team, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Home Serve Home Warranty, Republic Title, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show today. We've got a lot to get to today. We're going to be talking about the best home-related Christmas gifts, holiday gifts that you uh, could give or get in the next week here in crunch time on holiday gifts. But we do have a full studio today. Pretty excited. We've got the English wonder himself, the Yanni Donny. We also have Classy Courtney in studio with the microphone. She's trying on new nicknames. Classy's working okay. We'll see how that plays out. We'll take your questions today. 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Or online at toddtremontiteam.com. That's Team. Dot com And of course, if you ever forget the website, the phone number, or any of these things, just go to Google, type in Todd Tremonti, get as close as you can. Even if you pronounce it in your head, Tremonte, which is not correct, you'll still get close enough on the spelling. How about Todd Tremonti? Uh, you probably, that'll probably still get you there. Uh, doesn't It's not correct, but that will probably still get you there. Just Google Todd Tremonti. You'll find one of the websites. Click any button, call or text any phone number, fill out any form, and we would be absolutely thrilled. We really would be. We would love an opportunity to add some value in your life. Look, if you're not buying or selling soon and we're not going to earn a commission, that's okay. We're doing strategy sessions throughout the entire month of January. We'd love to hook you up with one completely free in the office on Zoom or over the phone. We'll give you 30 to 90 minutes of our time of one of our full-time dedicated experts time. We'll answer questions, point you towards some of the big opportunities in the market, point you away from some of the big risks in the market. Plus, I feel pretty confident we'll have some fun while we're doing that. So call 214-310-0008, or you can text 214-310-0008, or you can uh, go online to toddtremontiteam.com. Uh, what's going on? I'm shaking. Squeaky chair. Squeaky chair. All right. Um, we're going to get to it here in a minute, folks. But the first segment is always brought to us by Patrick Glaros and his incredible team of mortgage ninjas, I say, mortgage experts over at Cardinal Financial. If you need uh, to ask questions about your payment, your escrows, uh, down payment, how much you need to save, what interest rates look like, what, how much you can afford, or anything else related, to getting a mortgage on your home, a vacation home, an investment home, you reach out to Patrick Glaros and his team at patrickglaros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. Now, we'll take your questions. We've got a whole list of topics to cover. And in a few minutes here, we're going to dig into awesome house-related Christmas gifts. We might even have a little debate about a healthy Christmas gift budget. Classy Courtney's got some opinions. I've got some opinions. Mari from the team had some opinions earlier. We'll get into it and see what's happening. But before we do that, if you don't know what your house is worth and the year 2022 is wrapping up here in the next 10 days or so, uh, you, you're, you're at risk. And, and that doesn't mean someone's coming to get you. What it means is uh, you don't know what you probably should know in order to make appropriate financial decisions related to taxes, related to investing, related to buying things, selling things, purchasing, paying rent, mortgage. You need to know the asset value of what is probably at least a top five asset in most people's lives, top one or two in most people's lives, the value of your home. You can do that in under one minute right now at valuethishouse.com. If you just go to valuethishouse.com, you type in your very basic information, God bless you, uh, then you'll find uh, what your house would sell for or rent for right now in the current real estate market. If you want, uh, you can reply to the email (coughs) telling you the value and you can say, hey, could I get a custom valuation? Could I get a deep dive? Could I get a more personal valuation? And then one of our team members would be happy to do that. All that is totally free, amazingly valuable, a little bit easy, a little bit fun. All that's at valuethishouse.com. I want to hear about some holiday traditions, Todd. You do? Yeah. English or American? I want to know what some of your holiday traditions are. Maybe Courtney's. Mm, Courtney, here comes my Maybe friend. mine. I don't know. 
Here comes the microphone. She loves it. She I think it's a good it. time of year that we discuss like holiday traditions. All right, here's the deal. I grew up in a big Italian family, but like my dad's family was a big Italian family. We can't count your cousins and aunts and uncles, and they're just people everywhere, and it's awesome. Now, at my home, uh, th- uh, one brother, one sister, family of five, but it was never just five. Like, so at our family, it was invite everybody in, neighbors, friends, cousins, everybody. It was just people everywhere. And so food was like the centerpiece of everything. So the, like traditionally earlier generations of our family would do like a traditional feast of seven fishes kind of deal. We didn't do that at our house. We just did what we call a, a giant pot of suka. So suka in our house, sauce, spaghetti sauce, red sauce, whatever you want to call it, gravy from the Northeast. But typically on Christmas Eve, giant pot of spaghetti. And then there might be, one kind of noodles, there could be two or three kind of noodles, there might be meatballs, there might be Italian sausage, there could be all kinds of stuff. But basically, giant Guido feast, and that's not meant in a negative term, we celebrate that, like giant Italian feast, sauce, bread, noodles, meat, everywhere. And there was not necessarily even like, that's for lunch or dinner. It was just like, we're eating today, like all day. I love that. That's kind of like ours, my mom would get different platters like she basically we would have br- like breakfast in the morning christmas breakfast and then she would set out huge chick-fil-a nuggets a huge sandwich board a huge cheese board and it was just boards all over the counters everywhere and you could just eat all day so that's how they, my wife's family was snacks so christmas eve was like snacks isn't the right word you know like uh appetizers yeah. all day long there was no whole meal but there was like nine or ten kinds of uh, and their family's Polish or Lithuanian. There's some debate. You never know. You take a genetic test and you, you learn some stuff. But th- that was like, it could be spicy meatballs, pigs in a blanket, spinach dip. Yeah. It could be, all, it could be pierogies, all sorts of stuff. And we've sort of merged that. And we, then we'll, then we'll make Ian talk a little bit. He's saving his voice, but we'll give, we'll get a little bit of English tradition here. But so now we've merged that together. So now Christmas, Christmas Eve dinner. So at night, we'll go to church in the afternoon. And at night, we'll do a big pot of suka, a big spaghetti guido dinner. And then, but early breakfast and all day snack. So you're not going to be hungry at the Tremonti house, at any, any, anyone in the Tremonti family, at any edge of this family, you will eat. But at our house, instead of picking one, what, just do both. Let's snack it. all day and feast Italian style at night. That was his like sausage rolls on Christmas Eve, pork pies. Those are all Englishy type. Yeah, but stuff. none of it sounds bad so far. It's all really good, but it's more snacky. And then Christmas Day is a big because obviously we don't have Thanksgiving. So right. Christmas Day is when well, traditionally people would do a turkey, but we do like beef Wellington or listen, something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to focus. There's a rumor going round and round and round. That Ian Daniels, and I've seen photos. I've just, my mouth has never tasted Courtney. I know. Hustle up, Ian. That Ian, no, I know for a fact that Ian's an excellent cook, but I've never personally witnessed the Beef Wellington out of his kitchen. I know some who have, and they say good things. I. They say great things, just be clear. Okay, all right, there you have it. I did go what? to chef school for three whole days. Yeah, listen. Killed it. Focusing on the chef school part, not the failing or quitting part. But it wasn't a failure, to be clear. Just didn't stick with it. Here's the thing. Well, I'm about to college. One of these days, listen, everyone has a second, you know, plan B. All right, here's the thing. I would love someday to taste the beef Wellington. But on our, so moving on from Christmas Eve to Christmas Day, uh, and real quick before we do that, I want to tell you about, um, uh, what do I want to tell them about right now? Home serve? <laughs> no idea. Let's do home, sure. We'll Why do not? home serve. Tell you about home serve, home warranty. Uh, you know, I, irony, you ever have family over and something's wrong at your house and you just start sweating? Like any other time, problem with the sink, problem with an appliance, no big deal. But you have guests over and you're like, oh gosh, they all think I'm a complete moron. That's where a home warranty would come in place. You just call the warranty company. They send someone out. You pay a little bitty trip fee and it's taken care of. Instead of you having to track down the right vendor, that costs them three or 400 bucks. It taking a day. Uh, There are mixed emotions out there about home warranties, but we believe, especially that first year in a home and probably beyond, home warranties are a good thing. And HomeServe Home Warranty have been taking care of us. I've had them on my home. 
and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of our clients over the years. Christine takes really great care of our friends who need home warranties. HomeServe Home Warranty online at homeserve.com. That's homeserve.com. So we also do the traditional uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas day. So I get up really early at Christmas morning. I start smoking a turkey on my big green egg. One of these days we're going to have Big Green Egg as a sponsor on the show. We're going to get that taken care of soon. Big Green Egg. I feel like I'm winning that bet so far. (laughs) Well, I've made no effort, so technically you are, but soon you'll lose. So, uh, smoke a turkey. Uh, I do love it when there's also a honey-baked ham. That's not always a thing, but some some years it is. And then we do like a thousand sides, right? And I I have some Christmas Thanksgiving traditions that other people don't like. I like corn, peas, and what we call rice dressing which is just long grain Uncle Ben's wild rice with uh, regular Jimmy Dean sausage, which is a tiny bit spicy, but not much, mixed all together. It's delightful. And then, of course, Dana makes some of the best, like, sweet potatoes, sweet potato mm, casserole. I'm out. I grew up totally out on it. Like, it's the wrong color. It's weird, textures, funky. I don't want it. And then I started trying it. Honestly, I started, only really started eating it three or four years ago, and it's incredible. Green bean casserole, I'm in on all of it. We do Hawaiian yolks. rolls. We do Yorkshire puddings. We do chipolatas wrapped in bacon. It's a little spicy ish sausage. It's an English sausage. Also delicious. Sounds fantastic. Roast potatoes, mashed potatoes. Our big big thing though that we do, we do scratch off com- contest. Okay. There's I would I figured gambling would make it in there. Yeah. yeah. Stockings. We do scratch offs for the adults. Maybe for the kids. Okay, true or false, Courtney. She has no idea where where this is coming. True or false? At my house growing up, stockings were women's stockings, meaning like pantyhose. True or false? False. True. No, it's so true. Hanging from the fireplace. Now, not like the whole thing, just the, just one leg, like just, oh, that's just weird. a stocking. <clears throat> so that was, my mom grew up with it. We grew up with it. Wait, the, I'm kind of obsessed. Here's the good news. When you max that thing out full I, of candy and stuff, it's like so four or five long. feet long. And so fruit is just in there as like a widening agent. Like a, what happens when you have heart surgery? They do like a stint to keep the vein open. <laughs> Giant apple or orange, that's just a stint in the stocking. By the way, you're listening to Texas Real Estate with Dodger Money, and we will talk about real estate at some point. But a stocking, right? So like, I don't know. It's not pantyhose. It's just hose. Like, what do you call that? Like just a stocking. Like a woman's latex stocking. So anyway... Um, like four and a half feet, and that would be filled with uh, some traditional things. Like I got a bottle of Brut Cologne every year of my life, and I used it like once. But in my br- my brother and I shared a bathroom, so we both got one every year. So there's like you know twenty eight bottles of Brut in there, and we never use it. But um, and then tons of candy, and then like really small, like maybe baseball <laughs> cards, something like that. But that was that's how we did stockings. And they would lay on the ground. You couldn't hang it from a mantle or anything. It was too long, too heavy, and everything would slink to the bottom. But it was great. We had big, like, uh, sacks that I, we would have all our gifts in as kids, but they would be, like, four feet long, mm-hmm. and that's what all the gifts would fit in. They were, like, they were massive, big bags. Nice. It's cool. Nice. I like it. All right. Uh, if you have questions, folks, 214-310-0008. We're going to get into uh, more real estate talk here as we make our way forward. I do want to tell you about DP Lambert. As you wrap up the year and you start to think about expenses, investments, goals, um, you know, it's, it's rare that you're like, boy, am I fired up to evaluate my insurance needs. But oftentimes what you are thinking about is, man, you know, how much money's coming in and how much is going out. I want to minimize my insurance costs. I want to make sure I have enough coverage. I'm protecting myself, my assets, my family, my home, but I don't want to waste any money on that. And, and a lot of people waste money out of laziness because they just don't check it. I'm encouraging you to reach out to DP Lambert. You can just shoot him a simple email, dp.lambert at goosehead.com, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Goosehead's a great company. DP is a phenomenal insurance specialist, has been taking really good care of our team and our clients for years and years and years now. Almost always saving folks money while also increasing coverage. But sometimes what he'll say is, no, you're rock solid right where you are. There's no better option out there. Or, hey, you know, we can bump that coverage up. Cost will be about the same. The good news is he's going to be straight up and honest with you. And many, many, many times, most of us in the office are increasing coverage 
and decreasing price year in and year out. Reach out to DP Lambert at goosehead.com. DP dot Lambert at goosehead.com. He'll take really, really good care of you. All right. Um, what do you want to do? Christmas gifts? I want to talk about Homestead. Okay. Because we'll I think we've had we've had a number of people asking us about Homestead. What is it? How do I do it? What happens? You know, is it automatic? Do I have to do something? So when somebody buys a house, yep. what is Homestead? Okay. So this is also a, a really good year-end conversation because up until this year in Texas, if you own a home, um, obviously property taxes are a big deal here. It's a large portion of your annual expense, especially debt, your, your home ownership expense. <clears throat> so up until this year, if you bought a home, you had to wait until the following January. So let's say you bought a home in January, you'd have to wait until the next January to now apply for the new year when they were gonna value your home for the following calendar year. You could say, this is my homestead. So to answer the question, what that means is, this is the property that I own that I live in. This is my primary home. If I own a second home, only one of them can be my homestead. Only one of them can be where I live, I reside, my primary residence. And if I dedicate it as that with the taxing authority, there are now some tax savings benefits. There's an incentive to own your own home. By the way, we're not gonna get into politics, we never do that. But people fight all the time about massive misunderstandings when it comes to finances and taxes and when it comes to politics. So here's the deal. Whether you like it or not, this is just a fact. The tax code, the rules around taxes in our country are designed to incentivize certain behavior, right? So for example, um, the, in our country, if you, if you borrow money, if you get a mortgage to buy a home, most, if not all, of the interest you pay on your mortgage is deductible on your taxes. Now, there are some limits and things. We're not going to get into all that. But why would that be? Well, because our government has decided, our taxing authority has decided, we want people to do that. We don't, we don't want you to only be able to buy a home if you have cash. Home ownership drives our economy. When people buy homes, they buy furniture, they pay for electricity and air conditioning, you know, all this stuff. And it ripples out into the economy and it creates jobs and it creates, an economy, it creates a culture that is good for our country. So we want people to do that. And so what we'll do is we'll give them a little tax advantage. So if you go borrow money to buy a house, you don't have to pay taxes on as much income because we'll let you reduce that amount by how much you're paying in interest. That's an incentive. Well, the homestead exemption is another one of those. Hey, we want you to own your home and own a little piece of the country, you know, and, and take control of your life and invest in our economy. So if you do that, we will reduce the amount you have to pay on those taxes because this is your home. Now, if you buy a second home to invest in it, you cannot call it your homestead, but there are some other tax advantages. So the short answer to the question is, what is a homestead? That's the house that you own, that you live in. Now, why do we care? Because there are some tax savings and some other opportunities out there on homes that we deem as our primary residence. It's a ballpark figure. There's a couple little overlapping calculations, but in most areas in North Texas, if it's your homestead, you'll probably save about 15% off. You'll pay about 85% of what you would normally pay if that was not your homestead. And what's changed this year is you can apply for that homestead exemption whenever you buy the house. You no longer have to wait until the following January. When it also means, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the, the county that you live in, they can only increase your like value that you have to pay on by a part, percent. part of designating it as your homestead and having that exemption puts a cap on the annual increase in what you pay. So they can increase the value all they want, but not what you, but what the yeah. value number that you pay on can only go up 10% per year. And when I say only, I know a lot of people are rolling their eyes because they've gone up 10% every year for probably four and a half, five years in a row now. But if you, th if you think about it and somebody that owns like rental properties, for right. example, they, don't they, they cannot protection. be that, they could go up 20, 30% every yeah. year. Well, and that brings up another point. Earlier I talked about politics or whatever, how people just yell and scream about finances when really they don't have a complete understanding. That doesn't, you know, I'm not telling you you're not allowed to be upset. I'm just telling you there's reasons for this. So if the landlord raised the rent like from 1200 to 1600 
It might be because his taxes went up that much, his or her. You know, it doesn't matter. But my, my point is some people have uncapped because it's not their homestead. And so their their rental house had been valued at 250 and over the last three years, it's now valued at 525. It's more than doubled. And their tax taxes went from, you know, like 6,000 a year to like 19,000 a year. Well, they've got to get, they're losing money if they don't increase the rent. I was going to say, we've right. talked to a number of people that were looking to sell their, their rental now mm -hmm. <clears throat> because of the fact that yeah. the home, the, it didn't have a homestead and the, it went up so high, they could right. no longer really take rent in to cover. They couldn't charge enough yeah. rent to make money. Yeah. And, you know, and look, people are, it's a, it's a free country. God bless America. You can complain about whatever you want. It just doesn't make you right, you know, and it doesn't make you, doesn't mean it's going to change anything. But to understand what a homestead exemption is, there's it's a huge benefit. It is a huge benefit. And you don't have to do anything to earn it other than you bought a home, you're living there, and you tell the taxing authority, hey, this this is the one that's my homestead. This is my primary residence. Most you can of us have only a home, own one. And you can have a homestead with other things too, right? If you're over 55. So it's one or the other, but they get slightly better. So you can have an over 65 exemption that basically just says, hey, the reason that exists is you're typically using less you know, city government services. Like your, your kid, you probably don't have kids in the local elementary school. So your school taxes might go down. Now in some areas that doesn't happen in some areas it does. And so that's where I'm saying about because the numbers are not the same school district to school district, county to county, city to city. But the statewide part is basically the same for all of us. So anyway, good question. Long answer because there's a lot of different angles to it. But the summary is you want a homestead. You want to own your home. And if you own it, by all means, you want to take advantage of the benefits of that. Now, um, here's the deal. Christmas is awesome. I love Christmas. If you celebrate something different, just know I'm not trying to diminish what you celebrate. We're just trying to be efficient with our time here. Um, but when we come back from the break, and we're not going to the break quite yet, but when we come back from the break, we're going to talk about really awesome house home related Christmas gifts. Whether you rent or own or invest, we're going to talk about some really cool stuff. Some of them new, some of them older and traditional things that you could buy yourself or someone else or ask them to buy you that can really make your life in your home, whether it's an apartment, a townhome, a house, a condo, lake house, whatever, better, more fun, more enjoyable, a little bit more exciting. We're going to get to that when we come back from the break. But what I want you to hear right now is that if you have real estate goals of any kind, for 2023, for the year ahead, to buy, to sell, to invest, to rent, to improve, remodel. The Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, our company, my company, is offering 100% free strategy sessions with our full-time dedicated world-class agents. You can meet, meet us in the office. We'll buy you a cup of coffee or a Coke or a water, whatever you want, or we can jump on Zoom together and we'll spend 30 minutes to 90 minutes with you, whatever you need, to answer all your questions about the market, to point you towards some big opportunities and to protect you from some huge, massive mistakes that people are making in the market right now. And the easiest way for you to sign up for one of those free strategy sessions is just to text 214-310-0008. Just text the word strategy, 214-310-0008. Or you can go online to toddtremontiteam.com. You can Google Todd Tremonti. Just track us down online fill out a form, call a phone number, send a text, click a button, whatever you want to do, and just let us know, I want a free strategy session. We'll get you set up sometime during the month of January, no, no real pressure, and then uh, we'll make sure you feel really comfortable about moving towards your goal at whatever pace is right for you. Start all that online, toddtremontiteam.com. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP. Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God. 
Welcome back to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, PMR Roofing, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, Republic Title, Home Serve Home Warranty, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, Todd Tremonti. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I wish you were in the studio with us to see the level of intention Courtney just put to untangling the cord on her headset. It would have been a gift to all of us. Speaking of gifts, Ian, speaking of gifts, let's talk about uh, Christmas gifts, holiday gifts okay. that would impact the way you live in your home. Whether you own it or rent it doesn't even matter here. Like what makes life better at home that within some semblance of reason, maybe we even do some different budget categories. Like you could buy husband, wife, roommate, kid, friend, parent. These are some of the gifts that like would blow the other person's mind or that just like, you're like, this is so simple and it would be great. Or it's the one, and we've all been there, that you buy for your spouse knowing you're gonna get to enjoy it too. I mean, for me, I love, I loved it when I got a meat grinder and a spaghetti maker. Pasta okay, maker. time out real quick. I love that he pronounces it pasta. All right, real quick. Meat grinder attachment to like a KitchenAid, like attachment to a No, this uh, is an actual processor. meat grinder. This is a dedicated singular meat grinder. Okay, because yeah. I'm into that. I like to hunt. Um, it's honestly, it's not worth it. And at the level that I hunt, I'm not like an every weekend hunter to have to do that and process all my own meat but real quick for the sake of radio time what's your favorite thing to use that for oh i mean anytime that i make you make burgers with it or making like meat sauce with it okay. like i always do my own you do a mix mm-hmm. uh what's your favorite mix uh i'll it depends if we're doing a burger i'll do like a brisket with uh mm. you can do like tenderloin with brisket something like that i'm proud to be an american when he talks like that all right here's the thing uh, team Christmas dinner this year, I bought everyone on the team a meatball blend, beef, pork, and veal. You ever do that? Nope. I can't wait for you to try that. I want on-air feedback after you cook that. All right. Um, meat grinder. And then the second one was? A pasta maker. Pasta maker. Now, I do. I like to do a uh, hand crank. Yeah, so we have so the I hand crank. I don't have the electric. We have the hand crank, and it's more fun. But if we're doing a lot of quantity, which we usually do that when we have like a bunch of people over and it's part of the meal, it's part of right. the fun is we, t- we do it all together. Um, so we do have the KitchenAid attachment that has more size options and things too. And it's fun both ways. I have like four sizes and on the attachments for it, but yeah. I still like to do the hand crank even if I'm doing like a bunch of it. Yeah, we do too. We just don't always have the time. So I love that. All right. Favorite, maybe not even favorite. Just what's the first one that comes to mind, Courtney, on sweet Christmas gift that makes life at home better um i was gonna say my casper pillow casper pillow huh guys okay you don't need to don't you have to tell us anything you don't want to tell us courtney we'll keep this as confidential as you like are you a one pillow person or more just one pillow okay a good, a a good pillow and he needs one pillow i'm a side sleeper i'm a side sleeper True. And I want my pillow to be about as thick as an envelope. And I'm talking oh, like a letter. Oh, you want a thin uh, pillow. Oh, no. I like, <sighs> see, we have the temp, we have Tempur-Pedic pillows, and I like the, how it. See, feel, and I did the cast. I mean, I did a quick, Tempur-Pedic quick, for a while. Quick pause. Tempur-Pedic or Casper, anybody wants to reach out and let us know. We right. can talk sponsorship. We're, we're Happy ready. to do that. All right. So do you, is that pillow just under your head or do you bear hug it? Do you like roll around and fight that thing? Because I feel like people have very strong pillow opinions. Under my head. And just just traditional that's how i am Classic. but again i want that thing like my hand is an adequate pillow and i don't like if i travel without a pillow no problem my hand is about the thickness i want the pillow i take God, my own this is i take my own pillow with me places because i and don't an, like hotel pillows that doesn't surprise bougie. me at all no bougie so here's the deal i'm not i don't want to take bougie away from ian because as an englishman i think he, he wears that with pride so it's, but it's more particular He's more particular than bougie. I've flown with Ian multiple times, and it has got to be exactly the way he wants it. Temperature, travel clothing, travel bag, travel sleep materials. And look, in the early days when we were growing this thing, we shared rooms when we traveled. And man, do we travel differently. And I'm not judging. I'm just like, all my stuff can go in a backpack. I don't need a pillow. I can wear the same clothes on the plane, at the meeting. I could maybe even sleep in them if I had to. That, that is not how Ian Daniels rolls. Nope. The Yanni Donnie 
needs the right hoodie, the right pillow. I mean, it's it's a thing. Okay, so for you, it's your Casper pillow. I'm gonna go, probably not surprising anyone, I'm gonna go to the outdoor kitchen and I'm gonna say a uh, a Blackstone griddle. Yeah. And they're just a, a they're just a gorgeous piece of equipment for your whole family. All right. So it doesn't matter if your family are breakfast people, lunch people, dinner people, snack people, cinnamon roll people. I mean, it does it all. Blackstone, people, if you want to reach out, let us know. People. Wait, can I, do I have to be using this on my like open flame grill or could I be using it on my gas stove? Okay. So the Blackstone brand is an outdoor open flame sure. propane grill. But if you just have a cat, like if you want a cast iron griddle that you lay on your gas stove, I'm all for that also. The reason I like the big one outside is they're just designed really well. They're basically indestructible and you can do so much on them. I have a little one on our camper and then I have the big one. Well, how much are these things? That, the that, that's the beauty of this. They're at, they're very reasonable. And, and I say like, look, for, for, for a backyard grill, you can get the little like, I don't know, 20 inch, 24 inch for like 100 bucks. 100 bucks. And you can get the big three foot, 36 inch one for like $300. Now, depending on who you are and where you are, $300 may be big budget or little budget, but they're so versatile for $100 to $400 somewhere in there. You can get a griddle and the utensils you need. You just need a couple big spatulas and a scraper. That's kind of all you need. You can have a lot more. You can have the dome for melting cheese and all that stuff. But the deal is it, you can cook quickly on it. You can do awesome eggs and taco meat. You, the smash burgers are incredible. You can do steaks, pork chop, like... You can do it all. It's it's nothing more than a really great griddle top. And here's what I found as well, because mine actually, I got some rust on it, yep. which happens apparently because no of problem. the humidity and everything in Texas. Yep. So I, I scrubbed it all the way down and then re-seasoned, re-seasoned it, it. Yep. and it was good no to go deal. again. It was so easy. Now, there's some right and wrong ways to season it. We don't have time to cover all that. But yeah, that's the beauty of a quality one, and Blackstone makes a quality. It doesn't have to be Blackstone. I love Blackstone. Ian has one. I think I have two. You have three. Two. We both have two. I have a little one on the camper that came with it. You know, I'm I'm not trying to be cool. It just came with it, and I I fell in love with it. And so when we travel, we do smash burgers. We do sausage and eggs in the morning. We do lots of amazing stuff, and it's just so easy to do it. I'm an equal opportunity griller, though. I have a Traeger, and I have a kettle grill, and I have a big green egg, and I have Blackstone. So equal opportunity. That's excessive. I have all of those things also, except for the kettle grill, but I have a, a... pizza oven to replace it so the fact is cooking outside is awesome and almost everybody loves to cook outside or eat what has been cooked outside so the reality is if you're thinking about a christmas gift go check out a little cast iron griddle they have tabletop ones that you can travel with like the twist off propane i bought my dad one of those when they were moving They, they, they had to move twice one summer i was like hey throw this thing on a picnic table on a tailgate you know on the deck uh use that they have the big ones if not Take a look at the little uh, travel pellet grills. Now, the big ones are more expensive, but the little travel, I have one of those that we'll take with us in the camper sometimes. We can smoke a like a small whole chicken or something like that. We do pork chops on them. We do pork tenderloins. Anyway, I'm thinking outdoor cooking, and on the more affordable end of the spectrum is a nice griddle or one of the small travel smokers. Some really, really cool stuff. Let's do one more round here. But before we do that, I want to remind everybody, Patrick Glaros and his team over at Cardinal Financial have been my personal go-to mortgage lender the entire time that I have been a professional real estate agent. That is since the early 2000s, over 20 years, y'all. Patrick and his team have taken phenomenal care of my wife, my family, me, hundreds, at this point, probably thousands of our clients and many, many, many of your friends and neighbors as well. Go to patrickglaros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. NMLS number 308804. Go use their mortgage calculator. Find out what's true about rates right now. Find out what's available to you. PatrickGlaros.com. All right, one more uh, gift or item that you love in your house that could help someone make a last minute gift decision related to their home. Doesn't even have to be like super related to the home, but just something that you use at home. Mm, man, I was going to go completely different direction. Though, All right, so I've got one while you're thinking. Go for it. Vitamix blender. 
The Vitamix blender is so legit. Vitamix, if you want to reach out, I've already probably sold 200 units for you over the years advocating on your phenomenal and glorious product. Here's the deal. If you want a Vitamix, they're not cheap either. But this time of year, they discount their refurb ones and their factory refurb. They're, we bought a refurb one the first time and it lasted like 11 years and we use it every day. This is a blender like nothing else you've ever had. Now you can, if you leave it on long enough, it, it will heat and it'll make soup. Um, like you can throw peanuts in there and make peanut butter. It's that good. We do amazing smoothies around the pool. Uh, we do all kinds of sauces and things in there. Like if you've got a good but cheaper blender, you can do your normal stuff in there. But you're talking like blend ice into a smooth, creamy, amazing smoothie. And then anything, we make a good potato soup in there, tomato basil soup. It's a, it is an awesome awesome really powerful blender we like ours so much that like in the summer if we'll travel and like rent a beach house or like we'll take it with us uh it's the vitamix blender is awesome they last forever they honor their warranties and you can get a refurb at a reasonable price this time of year i saw them on amazon uh cyber monday it was like just the black ones they're like 200 dollars off so go check out a vitamix whoever you give that to will either instantly love it if they know what it is or they'll grow to love it if they don't know what it is I feel like we're just doing food items, yep. which and is I, fine. I could do that until the end of time. It. So we got an air fryer a couple of years ago, but we've really only been using it for the last like three or four months. Have you done steaks Game in it Game changer. Yet? Have you done steaks in it yet? Uh, I reheated some steak in it So the it's day. Look, I'm a food person. It sounds a little sketchy, cheapo to do a steak in no, it. No, I saw a video <clears> about rib, it. Ribeye, yeah. seven minutes on the first side, five on the second. I saw a video out. about oh, it. It's so it supposed to be great, but it's just, it's, it's been so easy and quick. Do you know do which it. one you have? doesn't matter. But it wasn't a great okay. one. I mean, we got it through Aldrich. Any of them will do. Yeah, it was great. So yeah. there you go. Well, air solid fryer. air fryer. That's been popular the last few years, but we still love it. Classy Courtney. Oh, gosh. Mm. Um, I I was going to say my uh, coffee grinder, but I can't think of the name of it. So oh, this no. isn't helpful. But All right. just What's your favorite board game you and your family play? Um, a Ticket to Ride. We're okay. on a Ticket to Ride. Yeah. Play nine. Play nine? Never heard of it, it's but we don't have- a card game. It's a golf card game. Look it up. We don't have time to explain that one, but I can't. I look forward to running there. We like code names. Now you're, I you're, love code names. You have to play it differently with little kids, but you can do it. But code names is a ton of fun. We've given that as a team member gift too, because we have so much fun with it. And with our little kids, Monopoly deal is just a lot of fun because it's easy to pick up. There's not like massive layers of strategy, but there is still enough strategy that adults and kids can enjoy it at the same time. So those are some sequences. Another one we love. Sequence is fun. Those are, those are some easy ones, stocking stuff or gifts, some bigger gifts, some in-between gifts. As you're thinking about last minute stuff, hopefully that's been helpful. You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. We do have a full studio. I did some quick introductions earlier. We're going to do some slightly less quick ones really quick. And then after that, we're going to take more of your questions. If you've got real estate questions, call or text 214-310-0008 or just go online to toddtremontiteam.com. Sign up for a free strategy session every afternoon in January. All of our full-time, world-class, totally dedicated real estate specialists, agents and brokers, are dedicating our afternoons in January to free strategy sessions with friends and listeners and clients that just have questions about real estate in 2023. Whether you wanna buy, sell, protest your property taxes, put a new roof on, update the kitchen, remodel, buy a rental, invest in a vacation rental or something like that. Any real estate goals you have for 2023, We'd love to set you up with a free strategy session at no charge to you, no obligation required. We'll spend 30 to 90 minutes with you in the office or on Zoom. If you want to come into the office, we'll buy you a cup of coffee, a Coke, a Topo Chico, whatever you're interested in. And we will point you towards unique opportunities in the market and help protect you from big mistakes. 214-310-0008. Just text us strategy session or call or go online, click any button, fill out any form, and just let us know, hey, I want a strategy session. So we do have Classy Courtney in the studio. We're, we're trying on some nicknames. We're trying, I think you have to have three consecutive words with the same first letter for it to be real alliteration, but we're working on it. Welcome to the show, Courtney. Thanks, Todd. Listen, thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing your gift ideas. All the specificity around that coffee grinder was great. <laughs> um, any any words of wisdom for our listeners a week before Christmas? Ooh, words of wisdom. Yeah. Um, I think that um, at this juncture, you just let it go. You just and like release it. the stress of yes. the season, hug your people, Be watch your favorite movie, Christmas stay up lights, too late, fire, 
Yeah. Eat the thing. Eat the thing. Pull out the board games. Like, be with your people. Try to, like, bring the energy down. Before we go to the Yanni Donnie, real quick, is there a limit on consecutive hours you can wear pajamas? Consecutive hours? Yeah. I, can I I tell you something about me? I would love for you to do that. When I, I have a thing, like, jammies or are for bed. And what? My literal. Jammies. Jammies. My literal pet peeve. I cannot think of something that makes me go nuts so but so more <coughs> than seeing a college student walk around campus in jammy pants. Yeah, they're out of the house. That's absurd. But I, I'm if with I you. see my child doing that. To be clear, I don't own pajamas, but my wife and children love them. And my question is, how many hours in a row can you wear pajamas over the holidays before it's like, okay, that this is a problem? Oh, I don't there is no limit. My youngest child would go same. Like three months. Sam. Same. And she would be proud that they're the same ones. Now, she's not, like, dirty. She's, like, super clean. But, man, she's happy. It's so funny that you say this because it's actual pajama day at school today. Listen, congratulations. I know. Those kids earned it. Uh, Ian Daniels, the Yanni Donny, the English wonder himself. Let me ask a question we've gotten away from a little bit on the show, but how English are you feeling today? Um, uh, Fine. Okay, well, there's that. Um, anyway. I mean, it's been a rough time. England got knocked out of the World Cup. It's just, Listen, you know. I want to apologize, not for Ian, but like on behalf of the planet, because Ian's family has been sick for like three straight weeks now, and it's hit everyone one at a time. Like, it, cu- it couldn't have been just like one miserable week where everyone was sick. Nope, it was no, just like one at a time. It's been miserable. Slow, painful dominoes. And we feel bad for them. And there's not much we can do to make them feel better. I did try to fill your freezer with delicious meats, and I hope that helped a little bit. Appreciate that. But the Donny, he's here. He's proud of his English heritage. When's Boxing Day? Day after Christmas. Day after Christmas. And what happens? Grandma's birthday. Rest her soul. What happens on that day that Americans need to know about? Uh, Nothing. Courtney is currently throwing jabs into the air. Is it that Don't type of boxing? Box. No, it was just another day off. Okay. I mean, I'm sure there's there's some history behind it. Be something. No, there's history behind it. I think I think, and I'm going out on a limb here, so you can fact check me. But I think it was back in the olden days when people would have like people that worked in their homes. Um, and it was the day they then got off, right. and it was the day that they were then given a gift from the person that they worked for and all that. So I think he nailed I, it, folks. I think I got that right. He nailed it. I love it. Thank you. I love it when, not not that this happens much, and this is certainly not a commentary on Ian's intelligence. He's very, very smart. But I like the fact that he doesn't actually even care about a lot of English history. But when people meet him and I'm with them, they're like, ooh, tell me everything there is to know about your home country. Like he's supposed to know everything. Right. So... This year, when there was some royal turnover, let's just leave it at that. There was, you know, the queen no longer with us. I, because of my mother's obsession with Princess Diana, was able to know a little bit about that process. And between Ian and I, we pieced most of it together. Not Probably not most of it. Some of it together for the rest of the team as to what would ensue after the death of... uh, the queen it's been weird because like they had to sit like they were singing god save the king instead of god save yeah. the queen which was strange and i saw like the first coins with king charles on them instead of the queen on them and like this is stuff that's been hasn't happened in 80 years yeah mm-hmm. i mean it's well it's really really bizarre stuff what was it 70 something 70 years. something years yeah so anyway all right anyway on that i have to leave for the day so i'll be talking to you next week you're listening to texas real estate with todd tremani and uh what i would like to, this show to be for you is a resource where you're not running around all the time trying to figure out who you can trust and what is true about the real estate market so when you have questions about your home buying a home selling a home investing in real estate protecting that home we want to be a resource for you here at texas real estate We also want to be a resource for you at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team if you don't have a full-time, dedicated, world-class real estate specialist who's surrounded by experts and systems and technology with a track record of success. If you don't already have that, then we're here for you at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. We'd love to earn your business. 
And we'd love to find out if you're a good fit for us and we're a good fit for you. It's not always a great fit and that's okay. There's lots of other options, but we're operating at what we believe to be a world-class level, operating a little bit more like a accounting firm or a law firm or a medical office than the typical agent who tends to be working solo part-time, trying hard, but not being world-class. So if you're looking for that in 2023, if you're looking for someone that can really advocate for you, protect you, who does this every single day with really amazing resources and education and technology and some world-class people, then reach out to us. We'd love to set you up with what we call a free strategy session, 30 to 90 minutes in the office or on Zoom with one of our world-class agents and brokers who will answer any and all of your questions, help make sure you're aware of some of the big mistakes that buyers and sellers are making in this market, as well as help kind of you know, show you behind the curtain a little bit to where the really, really great strategies are that are helping people win really, really big right now in a market where a lot of people are losing, there are strategies to win big, selling, buying, and both. And we can tell you countless stories when we get together about recent clients just in the last weeks that are doing really, really well on the buy side and the sell side. So if you're looking for that kind of advice, if you're looking for that kind of guidance, if you're looking for someone to lead you through one of those strategies, call 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremonteteam.com. Feel free to shortcut all that by simply Googling Todd Tremonti. You'll find our profile with right around 600 reviews from Happy Pass clients and vendor partners and uh, folks that we do business with. And then just reach out, make a phone call, send a text, send an email, click a button, fill out a form, whatever's comfortable for you. We will get you connected with the right full-time professional on our team to answer your questions walk you through strategy, figure out the right timeline. There's no rush. We'll be here whenever you're ready. But if you're thinking about buying or selling or investing in any way in 2023, if you're thinking about protesting your tax valuation, if you're thinking about investing, if you're thinking about a remodel, we would be thrilled to offer you at no charge, no obligation, a free strategy session during the month of January. We do them all year long, but in the month of January, we dedicate almost every afternoon to simply sitting with people in person or on Zoom and just making sure you have some clarity around your real estate goals for 2023. So there's no fear, there's no uncertainty, you're not operating with bad information, you're not making, you're not waiting when you shouldn't be waiting and you're not jumping into the, into the game when you should be waiting. We wanna help you figure out what's best for you, your family and your finances. And we'll do that for you at no charge with no obligation. Call or text 214-310-0008 and just type strategy session or ask about a strategy session or go to the website toddtremonteteam.com and we'll get you set up with one of those. I'm going to say it one more time. If you haven't had someone check your roof in the last couple of years, it's that time of year where we begin to get maybe snow, maybe hail, definitely rain, definitely wind. And because we don't get the heat, the water stays and it might be sipping into some of those cracked soffits uh, and eaves uh, and the seals around the boots and the wind turbines and all the things that are on the top of your house. And a little problem becomes a very expensive, big problem if you don't have your roof checked out. We had to have PMR out to the office the other day. We had a little bitty leak. It was no big deal, but we got it solved before it became a really big problem with a tenant issue. So reach out to PMR Roofing at pmrroofing.com. Go check out that website. Most roofers you know, website's not all that helpful. This is a very good website, pmrroofing.com. Ask for Jordan. Tell him Todd Tremonti sent you. Merry Christmas, folks. We'll talk to you next week. Remember, folks, we only recommend professionals that we have had a great experience with or our clients. So go check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. Find them all online at overunderagent.com. We'll be back next week, 3 p.m., right here on WBAP.